Hello and welcome to The Reasons I'm Broke Unboxing. I'm Daniel, one of your hosts of the weekly podcast found right here on YouTube and on your favorite podcatcher. Today we have the long-awaited release of Zack Snyder's Justice League Steelbook Mother Box, and this is from Collectong. These were limited to 500 copies of each version of the Mother Box. By the time I got, they went quick. By the time I got on the link to get one of these Mother Boxes, this one was the the human one was sold out and then this one was still available along with the i believe the atlantean mother box was the last one that was available but the human one sold out first i was happy with this one too and there's a sticker that it comes with so we're going to take a look at all the cool stuff that it came with again all three of these sold out pretty quickly canta lab exclusive it came with this Certificate of Authenticity, it's got a number on it, 101 of 500 is the one we pulled on this mother box here. It's got some Blu-ray info and the Ultra HD, some of the specs on what can it can be played on. And this does actually have some weight to it, so it I would assume if I were to drop it, it would shatter. And it does even the, it is magnetically sealed, so even the lid has some weight to it. And you can sort of see all the detailing. It's got, it, it's it's sturdy. I really like the quality of these and the presentation of it. Here's the steelbook itself of Zack Snyder's Justice League. The movie, they said, did not exist. It's never coming out. Just stop fighting for it. <laughs> and here it is. This is probably like the 12th version of this movie that I own now. Voting with my dollar. We've got Ray Porter Darkseid on the back. Beautiful steelbook. And we've got the Justice League on the front. So it is a very nice steelbook case. Dark side in the back there. Hopefully more to come. And here is the interior booklet that it comes with. Some, some goodies inside. Let's take a look here in this very nice envelope for the Snyder Cut. And we see some cards, some, some prints as well. Some mini prints for the Snyder Cut. So let's take a look at these first. We've got Henry Cavill as Superman in the black and silver. We got the heart of the film, Ray Fisher Cyborg. And there he is, Dark Side. Soon, soon we'll come after you. And we've got Ben Affleck, the best live action Batman right there. And these did stick a little bit together here. So we gotta peel them off there. We've got Aquaman. And then we also have The Flash. So every Justice League member plus Dark Side and uh, I don't think a Martian Manhunter. Looks like we've got Wonder Woman left here. There she is, Gal Gadot. Wonder Woman. So no Martian Manhunter on these, but these are the Justice League members that we did see in the film officially. The ones that stopped Steppenwolf. And on the back we've got the Anti-Life Equation from the History Lesson. And here's the final battle. Aquaman, Cyborg, and Flash. That final scene with the Justice League together. Very nice. More improved than what we saw in the theatrical. And there's the history lesson with Uxus and the mother boxes. And there is the human mother box as they bury it away. And there we're back at the beginning. Here is the steel case that it comes with. We've got the... the Zach posted this on Vero. Something similar to this. And so they replicated it in this case. We've got Justice League symbols on both sides. It's really nice. And we're going to take a look and see what is inside here. So let's open this up. And not, not very heavy. We've got the cover here. And inside we've got some Justice League pins. Including Dark Side. So these are a little bit out of place. So we'll fix them as we take a look at them. The first one here is Aquaman's. There we go. So they're all, they're all in there. we got Batfleck. There's the back, so you can kind of see what kind of pin they use for to secure the pins when you put them on anything. And then we also have Superman in the center there. Awesome. I love that these were all also in, in not in color, but in black and white as well. I do prefer watching the Justice is Grey version of the Snyder Cut. Hopefully they release a Justice is Grey version of Man of Steel and BVS at some point. There's the flashes. I think that's the biggest one. Maybe Wonder Woman's is the largest pin out of this set, but all of their symbols are in here, just like the Lex Luthor files. Here's Cyborg. 
love all of these. I, I don't know if I'll pin these on anything because I, I really like them displayed like this. We've got Wonder Woman. I wouldn't want to lose them either, putting them on my work lanyard or, or anything like that. My convention bag. And here is Dark Sides. Right there. All of them. They could have left it without Dark Side, but I'm glad they put Dark Side in as a part of the whole set. But here's a complete look at everything. Good size, good weight on all this. Very well made. And we've got the mother box right there. I could not afford all three mother boxes, nor was I able to get all three anyway. But it is very nice. It's got some good weight again to the mother box itself. Very well made. And again, a, a, an amazing collectible to a movie that does exist today. Thank you so much for watching today's unboxing and bring back Zack Snyder.